Hey, what's up guys? If you are in the market uh, looking for a gaming PC or a laptop on a budget, then you are in the right place. Today we are going to be unboxing and taking a look at the Acer Nitro 5 gaming laptop. Let's check it out. Guys, this is an initial impressions and an unboxing video. I'll be using this for a couple of weeks post that I'll try and answer any questions or even make another review video if I can. You can check the descriptions for that. The Nitro 5 comes in a cardboard box. Inside you get the actual package with the logos and all black carton package. Inside this you get the Nitro 5 in a solid foam padding. You also get the 3 pin 135 watt. AC adapter which has standard cable length and some user manuals and warranty card is present as well. The Nitro 5 is made of ABS plastic mostly and has a brushed metal look at the top, lid with the Acer logo and a strong red bar which has Nitro embossed. It weighs in at close to 2.5 kilograms, which is pretty hefty, but considering gaming laptop weight, this is a pretty good weight. The Nitro 5 is 390mm wide and 266mm in length and 26.75mm thick. These have two variants with Windows 10 Home 64-bit by default and the costlier Intel Core i7 comes at Rs 89,990 and has 16GB of RAM and 1TB of hard drive and also has a 128GB of SSD. I have the base variant which costs 74,999 INR which comes with Intel Core i5 7th Gen 7300HQ processor clocked at 2.5GHz base frequency and a turbo boost up to 3.5GHz. It comes with 8GB of DDR4 RAM and 1TB of hard drive at 5400 rpm no ssd inbuilt but you can add one optional here and also add dual ram at the bottom up to 32 gigabytes you can find that both the slots which are easy to access and install it also comes with uh, nvidia gtx 1050 ti 4 gigabytes gddr5 graphics for intense gaming also the nitro 5 comes with optimized dolby sound with two stereo bottom firing speakers here and just for you to listen here is the nitro 5 at full volume So as you can hear the audio is top notch and there is hardly any distortions even at the highest of volume. For connectivity it has Intel dual band wireless LAN 802.11 AC, A, B, G and N and operates at 2.4 and 5 GHz as well. It also has Bluetooth 4 built in. The display is a 15.6 inch full HD wide 170 degree IPS LCD display with 16 to 9 aspect ratio. The colors are vivid and are true to life but the brightness is a tad dim could have been a bit bright. Although the viewing angles are decent, at points you may notice a bit of color difference so you would need to tilt to the right angles for the best experience. It has dual microphones on top here and at the center you have the 720p HD webcam. You can see some quality tests in the description. It comes with a red backlit keyboard with a WASD accent color and it's very well spaced for gaming and also are very tactile. There is no brightness reduction but you can turn off the backlight. It heats up on the right side of the keyboard on some heavy gaming, just a heads up, but it's not unbearable at any point. The touchpad is a multi-gesture pad with two buttons at the bottom, supports two finger scroll, pinch and gestures. On the left side, first you get the Kensington lock slot, Ethernet RJ45 slot, USB Type-C 3.1 Gen 1 port, HDMI 2 port, USB 3 port and an SD card reader is present as well. On the right side, you get the power supply slot, power and status LED, dual USB 2 ports and a 3.5mm headphone jack is present as well. In the front, you have these accents for a mean look. At the back, you get the dual fans with Acer Cool Boost tech, which boosts up the thermal system for smooth gameplay, even under heavy gameplay. It's very audible under heavy gameplay. However, as you can listen here, the battery is a 48 watt hour, 3220 mAh, 15.2 volts, 4 cell lithium ion battery with an expected battery life of 7 hours. For me, it gave about 4 to 5 hours with some gaming, browsing, and media consumption. I played some new AAA games and some slightly old games like Vanquish, and I got a steady FPS of about 60 
and at times it did drop a little but I would blame that on the HDD. I would definitely pick up the SSD variant for the best experience. So to sum it all up, Acer is clearly going in the right direction and the Nitro 5 is probably one of the best budget gaming laptops to consider if you're planning on those long hours of gaming. So guys, what do you think about the Acer Nitro 5 gaming laptop? Did you like them? And also do let us know which gaming laptops uh, you use and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you have not already done so for more such geeky videos. This is Bharatia signing off.